Fidel Castro grants the right to unwanted regime opponents in Cuba to migrate to America. Among the thousands of people immigrating to Cuba, there are also hardened criminals and mentally ill individuals. One of the most well-known of these hardened criminals, Tony Montana, migrates to Miami with his close friend Manny Ribeiro. Montana finds himself under the wings of Frank Lopez, one of the country's drug lords. Montana is ambitious and daring, aiming to reach higher places than where he came from. In this video, we will share lesser-known facts about the Scarface movie. If you want more videos like this, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Please write in the comments the characters, series, and movies you would like us to cover in future videos. Now, let's move on to the video. Director Brian De Palma remade the 1932 film Scarface with Al Pacino in the lead role. The original film's protagonist was named Tony Camonte, while in the remake, it became Tony Montana. The film's writer, Oliver Stone, took inspiration from Joe Montana, who was Stone's favorite football player. Although the film was originally set in Chicago, budget constraints made it impossible. The Miami Tourist Committee denied permission for filming in Miami, fearing that the city's image would be tarnished by gangsters and drugs. Due to the threat of attacks from Cuban-American protesters, most of the film was shot in Los Angeles instead of Miami. Art directors had to rearrange the streets and buildings in the film due to the differences between the two cities. When director Brian De Palma submitted the film to the American Film Institute, it was not approved due to drug and violent scenes. Despite undergoing multiple edits and re-evaluations, the film still faced rejection. To gain approval, producer Martin Bregman gathered a group of experts and narcotics officers to watch the film. They praised the film for accurately depicting the drug world and advocated for its viewing as it was anti-drug. The third version of the film was finally deemed viewable under parental control. It was only months later, after the release of the VHS tape, that they realized Brian De Palma had released the original version without their knowledge. Rumors circulated that Al Pacino used real cocaine in the film, but Brian De Palma never commented on the matter. Whatever was used caused problems for Pacino's nose, leading him to undergo surgery years later. Steven Spielberg and Brian De Palma had been friends since the 1970s when they started filming in studios. When De Palma visited Spielberg's set, he asked Spielberg to direct the scene where Colombian attackers enter the house. In the Cadillac scene with Tony Montana and Elvira, Michelle Pfeiffer's genuine reaction to Al Pacino taking her hat without her knowledge was kept in the film. The film is said to be a major inspiration for Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. The film's casting director, Alex Gordon, immediately recognized Stephen Bauer as the right actor for the role of Manny Ribeiro. Tammy Lynn Leppert, who appeared in a single scene in the film, mysteriously disappeared in 1983 and was never heard from again. Her mental health reportedly deteriorated due to the violent scenes during the filming. Miriam Colon, who played Tony's mother, is only four years older than Al Pacino. The film had a significant impact on hip-hop culture and rap music in the late 1980s. When the film was re-released in 2003, there was a request to add rap songs dedicated to Scarface, but director De Palma refused. Al Pacino has stated that Tony Montana is one of his favorite characters among the ones he played. Michelle Pfeiffer, who portrayed Elvira Hancock, was not the producer's first choice for the role. Glenn Close was initially considered the best choice, but the studio vetoed it, thinking she didn't have the right look. Before Michelle Pfeiffer joined the cast, names like Sigourney Weaver, Gina Davis, Sylvia Crystal, Sharon Stone, Kelly McGillis, and Carrie Fisher were considered. The name of the international company, set up by Saddam Hussein for money laundering was named Montana Management in honor of the film's protagonist. This film is ranked 103rd in IMDb's list of the top 250 films with a rating of 